So I looked around and I couldn't find a good tutorial on splining text. So I wanted to give you a little walkthrough on uh, working with the spline text tool. This is after you have uh, done most of your settings in the Maplex labeling engine and you're going into manually label um, probably just your rivers. It's the only thing you really have to worry about on this particular map. So I'm going to zoom in here and let me find a nice river segment here. Wait for this all to load up. One of the things you can do if ArcMap is loading very slowly like this for you is that you can uh, turn some label layers off while you're working. So I'm going to turn the highways and the cities off. And we'll turn off a couple of other things here just to speed it up just a little bit. So now everything should come in a little bit faster. So I'm going to label here, this is the Mississippi River, I just used the Identify tool to verify it. But uh, the Mississippi River is in a couple of places on this map. And this label gets it uh, kind of out of the way so that it's not really messing with other things. You can choose to label it in, in different places if you want. But anyway, this is just to get you an idea where the splining tool works, so you can work on these things if you want to. You're going to grab the splining tool from the drawing toolbar, and if you don't already have that open, you'll want to right-click up here anywhere in the toolbar area and select Draw, and that will turn this toolbar on for you. Spline text shows up under the text tool here. It's the second one down. And you're going to pick that, and then you're going to first thing you're going to do is draw your spline. So I'm going to try, you want a nice smooth piece of curve, I'm going to try to do it right along here. So to make this work, you click once. When you click the second time, and start to pull the mouse away, you'll see the line bends with it. So as I'm just sliding the mouse around, you see the line's getting a little crazy here. And then I'm going to come out here and click and then click one more time. And double click to finish. And then it gives you a text box in which you can put your text. And once you hit enter, you'll see it sort of fits to that spline. And it's it's not a great fit, but I think it's not too bad, given that ARC isn't really very good at this. But it ended up farther away from the river than I intended. So I just grab it, and I, I can move it a little closer. So you can do that with your text after you've built it. What you can't do is get in and edit the spline. So if you're not happy with the way the spline came out, you'll need to delete this text and make a, a new spline. And then I can go in here and I can say, oh, I want to make this italic, and I want to make it uh, whatever font it is that I've chosen to go with my map. And that may also impact whether or not I'm happy with my spline. It's a little crooked in here, but again, ArcMap isn't really very good at splining, and so we're not going to get too stressed out about how that looks. And then I can change the font color as well. Wait for it to refresh. And there we go. So, spline tool takes a little practice, a little patience, but it's not too awfully bad. Happy mapping.